And we're back at the Penfield Historic Farm Days. I'm Gabe Jarbo with WITY, and I'm here with the uh, president of the Cast Iron Seat Collectors Association. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And could I have you introduce yourself? Tom Wilson from Bluegrass, Iowa. Very nice to meet you, Tom. Now, you've got an impressive collection of seats here. Now, uh, is there uh, anything uh, that, that ties them all together, would you say? Well, everything that's on the wall behind us is from the state of Illinois poured between 1860 and 1900. Goodness, so that, that right there is, uh, it makes some of these well over 100 years old. Right, if you think about it, we're at the Wild West time, so when somebody was sitting on this seat on an implement going through their field, you could have seen Jesse James coming out of Northfield, Minnesota, going to St. Joseph, Missouri. Holy cow, now are any of these seats personally yours? I've got about 20 that are on the wall, but on the wall there's just over 150 come out of 10 states and 16 different collections. That's really impressive. Now, when you're uh, looking for a good cast iron seat, uh, what, what's, uh, what's the qualities that catch your eye? Well, we all like the rare stuff, but even, even some of the seats that have got nice design in them have good value for the, for the decorator type idea. Okay, so you're looking, it's really a, an aesthetic driven right. hobby. Right. Yep. That makes perfect sense. Now, do you guys, uh, I see that a lot of these have uh, some very nice paint jobs. Uh, are any of these original paint? Well, we, we have a painted seat contest every year within our group, and that's you'll see that over here. And with that, we also have a patina class. So the idea in the patina class is to bring out the rare seats that have never been repainted. So there are some over there that still have some some color on them, and they were... As a rule, all the seats were painted at one time, just like a piece of equipment now is painted. They would have been painted back then, but there would have been a small team of painters done it by hand. Holy cow. So the patina class, that is the original finish from well over 100 years ago. Now, when you were first getting into uh, cast iron seats, how long ago was that? And uh, what, what sort of brought you into this kind of collecting? Uh, my father started collecting in the mid-80s, and then I started getting into it in the 90s. Grew up on a small farm in southeast Iowa, and he was a history teacher. So between the farming and the history teacher, that's where he got started. And every weekend back then, he'd go to a farm sale and he'd bring something home. And it just it became a habit for me as well. And it just grew from there. All right. Well, this is Tom with the uh, Cast Iron Seat Collectors Association. I'm Gabe Dreiber with WITY.